Hi everybody, this is Scott Saad. Some of you might remember that last month I uh, took a break from social media and restricted my uh, postings to stuff related to my time off, my vacation, photos of beaches and so on. Uh, at one point I did violate my uh, you know time off uh, promise by posting an article that was published by none other than NBC News, so certainly a reputable outlet, where an author was proclaiming that heterosexuality was on its way out. You heard it. Heterosexuality, the means by which sexually reproducing species create life, the means by which sexually reproducing species create life for the author who wrote the article that heterosexuality is on its way out. And so what I thought I would do, uh, by the way, I checked to make sure that this wasn't a satirical piece because, well, it's difficult to imagine that such a reality exists, but it is a reality that I have been documenting for you and warning you about for several decades. And it seems that the lunacy is only getting worse. So here we go. This is from Marcy Bianco, who has a PhD in English literature. And, you know, she writes about uh, uh, gay issues. She writes about uh, uh, women's stu studies issues. So she comes from a, quote, academic background that is exactly the one that you would think might argue that heterosexuality is on the way out. So here we go. I'm going to read you a few passages, uh, and then I will also post the link to the article in question so that you can uh, read it at your own pace and enjoy it. So here we go. Miley Cyrus's split with Liam Hemsworth isn't just celebrity gossip. It's a blow to the patriarchy. Women like Cyrus are speaking out about sexuality in ways that put the power and responsibility back into their own hands. Over the past week, an assortment of trending stories from Jeffrey Epstein to the Dayton and El Paso mass shooters to Miley Cyrus's separation and Julian Hu, who, who, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, declaration that she's not straight, together have laid bare the scriptures of an American patriarchy on the edge of a nervous breakdown. I can tell you as one of the leaders of the patriarchy, we went to, we held a recent emergency meeting where we invited, you know, all of the patriarchs of the patriarchy. And we said, guys, Miley Cyrus has just broken up with her handsome, dashing husband. We need to find a way to resolve this. Otherwise the patriarchy is going to lose. I can attest to this because I was at that meeting. As the status quo, heterosexuality is just not working. The mechanism by which sexually reproducing species reproduce is just not working. As a snapshot of 2019 America, these stories present a startling picture. Men continue to coerce, harass, rape, and kill girls and women, and go to extreme lengths to avoid responsibility for their actions. On the other side of the issue, girls and women are challenging heterosexuality and even absconding from it altogether. Framed differently, the picture is this. You ready? Men need heterosexuality to maintain their societal dominance over women. Women, on the other hand, are increasingly realizing not only that they don't need heterosexuality, but that it also is often the bedrock of their global oppression. Patriarchy is at its most potent when oppression doesn't feel like oppression. So, for example, if you walk around and you don't feel in the least bit that you're oppressed, that's when this demonstrates that you are oppressed. You see, no oppression or no feeling of oppression is itself the most insidious form of oppression. Got that? Bigot? 
So let me read it again. Patriarchy is at its most potent when oppression doesn't feel like oppression or when it is packaged in terms of biology, religion, or basic social needs like security, comfort, acceptance, and success. Heterosexuality offers women all these things as selling points to their consensual subjugation or subjection. Historically, women have been conditioned to believe that heterosexuality is natural or innate, just as they have been conditioned to believe that their main purpose is to make babies, and if they fail to do so, they are condemned as not real or as bad women. Don't buy into this whole thing that, you know, uh, heterosexuality involves certain biological needs or that heterosexuality itself is innate or natural. It isn't. That's the way that the patriarchy convinces women to be active participants in their own subjugation. Got that, bigot? Let me skip for the rest. You can read it on your own. I'll end just one of the final paragraphs. Here we go. While men stew in their mess, women are rising. They are taking back control of their lives and their bodies, and they are questioning the foundation of the patriarchy, heterosexuality, that has kept them blindly subordinate for centuries. Well, heterosexuality, it turns out, Dr. Bianco, has existed for a bit longer than a few centuries because it turns out that humans have existed for a bit longer than a few centuries. And so, you know, the patriarchy has been doing this to women for well, many orders of magnitude more than centuries. But incidentally, all sorts of other sexually reproducing species that in, that engage in heterosexual sex are all uh, parasitized by the same patriarchy uh, subjugation. So for example, hyenas engage in heterosexual sex. Now, some of you may not have not heard this, but there is now a thriving mo movement to dismantle hyena patriarchy. There's dog patriarchy. There's duck patriarchy. There is salamander patriarchy. Any place where there is sexual reproduction, not asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction is noble because it doesn't involve the possibility of subjugation through heterosexuality. Why do I take the time to do these clips? This person is at Stanford. This person is at Stanford. Stanford has this person as an important member of its intellectual community. That person has written an article in NBC News arguing that heterosexuality is on its way out, that heterosexuality exists because, bruh, that's how the patriarchy, keep, patriarchy keeps control of women. Heterosexuality exists because men have convinced women that it is natural and innate. This is why I speak out about these issues. Your children are being taught by such thinkers. Speak out or watch the problem get worse. Take care, everybody.